Oh shit, that's awkward. Coffee. Good morning, guys. <laughs> this is Jonathan with One Big Impact. I didn't know I was recording. Just kidding. Yes, I did. Be a dumb. Do you see that? Do you see that? That's a gnat. And they're everywhere. And if anybody has a remedy of getting rid of them, I was growing some sweet potatoes in my room a while back and apparently I can't get rid of them now. So please share your remedies to get rid of those damn things. Anyway, today's video, I'm sorry to get sidetracked, is actually on supplements. What supplements should I take? I get this question a lot. People are like, what supplements should I take for uh, when I'm on Atkins or doing low carb or just in general or when I'm bodybuilding or whatever? I think that's a gnat messing with me again. These things are my nemesis, man. These are They're going down today. So, before work, I promised you, Claudia, that I was going to actually get this loaded for you. I apologize last night I came home and crashed out, but it will be active and I will tag you in it this morning because I want you to succeed and I want all of you to succeed. So this is going to be kind of a crash course on supplements. I'm going to do some individual videos like on BCAAs, uh, proteins, as well as like creatine and pre-workout and stuff like that. But I'm going to do a big overview right now. I'm not going to recommend any brands. But I do want to tell you, if you're going to this little Rink Dink health store or something like that, and you're getting your vitamins and stuff, you need to make sure that those vitamins have not been sitting on the shelf for five years. And what I, well, I'll explain later in my video on how to test those. So the first thing that I want to recommend that you must have, regardless, if you're doing any kind of diet or just being alive every day or doing some kind of workout plan, I recommend a one a day multivitamin and why I say that is because it's got uh, your vitamin C's, D, E, K, thiamine, riboflavin, uh, folic acid, biotin, B12, calcium, magnesium and it goes on and on. Zinc, copper, magnesium, chromium, uh, lysopene, all kinds of stuff it is, and it supports heart health, normal blood pressure, immune health, energy, metabolism. And it just goes on and on. If you're on a really huge, huge workout plan, you should probably be taking two or three of these a day because you're going to have to replenish two or three times the amount of uh, energy and supplementation that somebody else is. That was a gnat. Did you see the gnat? This is natty land. <laughs> natty land, natural. What? No, I'm just kidding. Um, the next thing that I suggest. And that one a day is extremely important. You can't not take that no matter what you're doing. I don't care if you're dieting, you're exercising or whatever. You need to be taking that regardless. Uh, the next thing I'm going to suggest is going to be uh, a vitamin D3. And that's for bone and immune health. And I've covered these things with a lot of people. Um, I don't know why I like the sound of that one. What is important that you know is I have paid for a dietitian, I have paid for a nutritionist, I have paid for fitness coaches, and I've paid for those things. I haven't done it a ton, but I've done it as much as I can or pick their brains when I join a gym or something like that. So these supplements are what professionals have not only told me, but I've heard it from many people. This is kind of the basis. So you need to remember that this is not bullshit. This is actually from the pros. Uh, the next thing is going to be calcium, magnesium, zinc, and I can't tell you what the brand is I use on all my stuff unless you private message me and then I'll give you an idea. Don't think uh, brand necessarily matters or whatever. It's not as important as you're actually taking it and doing the work. Calcium, magnesium, zinc. Uh, with vitamin D, it helps uh, build strong bones and teeth, which is important. Strong bones, especially as you're aging and stuff like that. The next thing I recommend, and this is kind of just as you get older, or if you're working out, or if you're doing a lot of cardio and you're having joint pain or something like that, I recommend a glucosamine su supplement, and that help helps lubricate and protect your joints. And basically, it's like your your joints are running on the treadmill and you got you got this joint in here or whatever and the more you do it it's just going to grind and grind and grind and grind so you're going to start to feel pain you're going to grind away the cartilage and the oil between there and everything so what the supplement does is kind of just jacks it back up so that it has room 
in there uh, and adds like hydraulic fluid basically in a sense uh, in between the joints so it doesn't grind on each other. Uh, another one that I recommend, let's see on any more dailies. I think that's probably, oh, oh I don't have it over here. Fish oil, of course, for uh, a healthy heart, and it helps basically lubricate your insides with the omega 3s or omega 6, whichever one you're grabbing. But I recommend 2,000 milligrams a day, which is usually like a pill or two, um, depending on which one you get. You don't have to go for the super expensive of any of this. Trust me, it's vitamins are not like a federally, that's a nap, <laughs> federally uh, regulated thing. They're not like uh, prescription drugs and stuff like that so remember what you're buying in the cheap one probably is the same shit you're buying in the expensive one don't buy into uh, the fancy packaging or whatever that's a nap <laughs> but um, you, you just get your products and make sure they're effective and I'll, I'll again show you how to do that but yeah fish oil glucosamine vitamin d3 calcium magnesium zinc and your one a day and that's pretty much your basis of what you're going to need. The next thing that I wanted to cover, cover I get a lot of questions about proteins. Um, and I'm not going to say who this brand is right here. This is the one I use. I get it at Wally World. It's like 17, 18 bucks. I use an isolate protein. And why I do that is because if you read on here where it says carbohydrates, it's got two carbs. It has less than one sugar and it has all the protein and everything else that you're going to need within it. It's pretty low on calories and stuff like that. But I want to warn you, if you're doing a low carb or a keto or something like that, a lot of people are like, oh, it's only two carbs. It's not going to be a big deal. Well, I'm here to tell you that's bullshit because it's going to rip you right out of ketosis if you're you're taking your 20 carbs per day and then you go to... Uh, you know, you have a, a 22 and then you add another supplement and you got 25 and 27 and pay attention to those things. If you're going to take this, this needs to be in place of one of your snacks. Don't take the regular proteins. And I'm not saying that for everybody. If you're doing like a bodybuilding routine or something like that, that's fine. That's perfectly fine if you're trying to put on mass. But if you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to also get your protein intake and you're having a lot hard time with that. A lot of the girls on the uh, Facebook group are actually having difficulties getting their protein intakes. One of these guys might not be a bad solution for you. And uh, the thing is that pay attention, make sure you get the isolate because the other one, the non-isolate is gonna have tons of carbs. I mean, I've seen them as much as 300 carbs. I don't even know how the hell they pack so many carbs within a freaking supplement, but they do. They definitely do, and they're quite effective at doing so. So you definitely want to pay attention to the ingredients with not only the protein, but any supplement that you're taking. The next thing is creatine. Uh, this is probably for a lot of, lot more of the guys, but definitely chicks take it too. Um, I have a creatine uh, here that I use, and I also get it at Wally World. I'm, I'm very low income so uh, I have to shop where it's cheapest I can't go to like the expensive GNC's or the vitamin stores or stuff like that anymore um, only why I'm going through school because I'm gonna be better after that uh, financially but this one particularly does not have any on the ingredients uh, anything as far as um, sugars and stuff like that but you need to read carefully and when you start reading through there, you got sucralose. That's definitely a hidden sugar. So make sure you pay attention to that. They're going to hide the ingredients from you because they don't want you to know. If you're going to take a creatine supplement that's got flavor to it, like this one is fruit punch fusion. <laughs> and it tastes good. Remember, if something tastes good or if it's like very sweet to your palate, chances are there's hidden sugars in there. If you're taking that, that's okay, but that's going to replace your morning coffee or your one s artificial sweetener for the day or whatever. So you're going to have to sacrifice something else to be able to take that. Do they have a creatine that's not flavored? Absolutely. It's just a clear powder. It tastes like powder. I mean, it's not anything great. It's not anything bad. You can get that and mix it in with your protein shake. And that way you're getting your creatine to be able to perform better in the gym or aerobically or whatever. 
a lot of what people don't understand is you're not necessarily going to get mass from creatine other than water retention and it's going to make your muscles look puffy, but you're not necessarily going to get muscle mass growth. Um, it's actually going to help with your performance and stuff like that, which indirectly will make you bigger um, muscle-wise or stronger, but it's definitely not going to help as far as um, actually gaining mass. Uh, the next thing that I want to cover is BCAAs. And now, those are branched chain amino acids. Many of them, uh, glutamine is one of those uh, ones that is extremely uh, over um, commercialized and they want to be able to just throw it out there. The glutamine is the definitely the best one, blah, blah, blah. There's two, two other ones that are uh, better that you need to worry about. And it doesn't say it on here, I forget the name. Oh, leucine is uh, the one and then it's iso, I think it's isoleucine. Um, anyway, what, what they are is their muscle recovery. And a lot of people are, you know, they, they, they take branch chain amino acids and they want to add them to their workout. And you see those guys carrying around those big jugs of water or whatever. Um, and it's like it got a colored tint to it, like a pink or purple or whatever. What's in there usually is branched chain amino acids, but the thing that they're not realizing, or or they may realize it, um, it's kind of like the icing on the cake. It's not really necessary if you're taking. And the funny thing is, usually um, you see like the big guys and they they're, they're swollen or whatever. And the thing is, it's not really necessary if you're getting your proper amount of proteins and you're on a healthy diet and stuff like that, um, because it's not really going to do much along the lines of uh, muscle repair and recovery if you're having a well-rounded diet. If you eat like shit 24-7, branched chain amino acids probably a good idea. But in the same sense, if you eat like shit every day, why are you worrying about a branched chain amino acid? If you're eating garbage when you wake up or whatever or throughout the day, um, you should probably worry more about um, not muscle recovery but fixing your diet first so if I had to pick fixing my diet or branched chain amino acids with a shitty diet um, I would definitely fix my diet and get rid of the BCAAs and why I say that is because if you're having a hard time with your protein intake like the girls or whatever uh, that's fine take a BCAA that's cool but you also have to realize um, they are definitely going to have um, if they're flavored, which many of them are, like you see right here, it's got one carb and it's got, let me see here, sucralose. So th there's definitely, I'm going to freaking, I got the gnat. Do you see the gnat? I got a, I got the gnat. I'm so happy. <laughs> I killed the gnat. I don't know if there's more, but they're all going to die today. Um, sorry. Uh, so pay attention to make sure that you're not going to have uh, artificial sugars, carbohydrates, and stuff like that. And if you are, if you're on an Atkins or low carb or keto or whatever you're on, if you're looking to lose weight, you have to factor in those supplement ingredients into your daily regimen. So don't just think that they're not going to be added because they're supplements or whatever. Pay attention to everything you consume. You're like basically micromanaging your body. And you're doing that because whatever you were doing before obviously wasn't working, so now you're changing it. Uh, the next thing I want to cover is the, well, let's say the pill test. I want you to get a bottle of water or a cup of water, tap water, it doesn't matter, and grab one of your little, grab one of your little pills and drop it in there, just bloop, right inside your uh, a cup of water. Walk away, set a timer for 15 to 30 minutes, and... Technically, your body takes two hours to be able to digest things or whatever. But within 15, 30 minutes, if you're not seeing that pill dissolve and start to disintegrate, um, you probably need to stop shopping at that Rink Dink health food store because those pills may have been sitting on the shelf for who knows how long. And they're never going to dissolve in your body. So what you're doing is actually paying for a pill that's never going to benefit you in any way, shape, or form. So that's... Basically, yes, and yes, there is stomach enzymes and stuff like that are actually going to focus, uh, that are actually going to factor in as well as um, 
the uh, water and stuff like that. But if you could put it in there every once in a while, stir it up, um, and if it starts to break down, you're good to go. Keep doing that. I, I haven't had a problem with like the off brands from Wally World or whatever. If you go to the big chain stores, the big box stores, usually you're getting a pretty decent product because they're feeding the masses. And they're not selling vitamins to just you. They're selling vitamins to the 4,000 people that came before you today as well. So you're getting a constant revolving. And I'm not saying those little stores aren't cool. And if I hope you find a good deal and you got like a little business or whatever and you know you, you can actually work with somebody like that, but just check their stuff. Don't clown on them or be mean to them if, if it's not working for you or whatever. Just know that you have to get that certain medication or that certain vitamin somewhere else. So do that test. Uh, finally, the last thing that I wanted to cover, uh, number six is pre-workout. Pre-workout's got all kinds of shit in there that we love. And I know Ashley loves it. I think uh, somebody else was telling me about it the other day. Um, there's many of you guys that live by pre-workout and obviously I have it right here. I haven't used it for let's say probably over a month and that's because I was doing the uh, induction phase and stuff like that so and the reason I hadn't been using it is because it has less than one carbs but it's got a lot of sugar a lot of caffeine and when you're doing like a low carb or something like that uh, tons of caffeine is gonna actually make you crave whether it's carbohydrates sugar sweets uh, and stuff like that or more caffeine and you're going up and down with your uh, your blood sugars and you don't want to do that you don't want to mess with everything and make it all wonky wonky I know that makes me sound old I like the word wonky what did I use the other day rinky dink <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that means uh, I got a rinky dink shoulder right now <laughs> but the thing is yes we enjoy pre-workout we enjoy the high that we get off of pre-workout but I promise you if you have a shitty diet and you're taking pre-workout, that's understandable, I get it, whatever. But if you regulate your diet and you drink like a small black cup of strong coffee before you go work out, you're gonna have the same damn effect. And there is a couple, you're gonna get that tingling sensation with this guy, but what I wanna say as far as pre-workout, a lot of people think I need pre-workout every single day, I need uh, protein shake every single day what you need is to have your diet in check and you need to stop counting on all this shit to be able to actually make a reason for you to get into the gym because a lot of these supplements are just garbage and they want to sell you stuff and I get it you know everybody wants a piece of the pie or whatever but what piece of the pie are you getting get in there start seeing results if you need something at that point like you're hitting a plateau or something uh, then at that point you know talk to a nutritionist or a dietitian or somebody that knows what they're talking about not necessarily that somebody that's trying to sell you their house product or whatever because that's bullshit and not everybody's got all the money for that but with pre-workout, if you're going to take it, I understand. I like it too. Do it in two-week intervals. Take it for two weeks. Take it, uh, cycle off for two weeks. And why you do that is because, well, uh, first of all, you're going to become accustomed. It's like drinking a cup of coffee every single day of your life. You're always going to, you're never going to get high off that. You, everybody's going to have a different threshold for ca caffeine or whatever. So you want to build it up and then break it down. So many of us are not just drinking the caffeine that's in our pre-workout. Uh, that's the one stimulant that's the best in the pre-workout. There's tons of freaking uh, yeah, ingredients in those that you know make us feel the pump and everything. But that's probably not your only caffeine drink. So uh, cycling off of it is a good idea. And then you know take a break for two weeks. Get back on it. You're gonna feel that energize again. Uh, anything else that I need to cover uh, is a couple. Uh, honorable mentions and I'm gonna get shit for this <laughs> no pun intended laxatives and the reason I say that is I do not absolutely absolutely I don't want you to take laxatives each and every day if you're not used to the diet if you're not used to so much protein if you're not used to so much dairy you may find yourself constipated 
on Atkins, low carb, paleo, whatever those are. You're, you're changing your diet completely. If you find yourself and you haven't crapped for three or four days, take a couple uh, light laxatives and be able to at least pass your waist and stuff like that until your body becomes used to it. Another thing, if you find yourself also not being able to be regular, uh, water, more water will help that. It will help flush your system out. Another thing is fiber. Fiber is important to be able to get rid of your waste. And if you're, if you're doing especially paleo, which, uh, or uh, keto, where a lot of people are huge on freaking meats, but they're very little on vegetables, you need those fiber supplements to be able to get rid of all that shit. Uh, shit meaning the meat and stuff like that you're eating, not actual shit. Anyway, that's gross. <laughs> but that pretty much covers it. This is my coffee. I'm drinking my coffee in the morning. Yes, I use heavy whipping cream, one sweet and low. You guys, I hope I like you. I hope I liked your video. I hope I liked your video. I hope you liked my video. If you did, if it helped you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Again, check out our website. It's called livemyfitlifestyle.com. If you have suggestions uh, on videos that you want me to make, if you want me to actually make some uh, workout videos as far as uh, exercise or there's something that you want me to cover, please let me know. Also, our Facebook group is Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. We have a freaking amazing community there. I work on the weekends, so I apologize. I can't load as much on the weekends, but I will be <clears throat> loading a video tomorrow, which is actually going to be a recipe video. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section below if you actually want it to be just an overview of the actual few food instead of me talking and stuff like that. I'm actually going to give you a sneak peek. I think I'm going to do a bread one because this is huge for everybody. I have a lot of bread lovers out there. So I'm going to actually walk you through that recipe, I believe. If you don't like that, tell me. And remember to spread love, not hate. And good job on your weight loss. I don't care if it's one pound, six pounds, a hundred pounds. Don't stop. Never quit. Work your ass off. You're doing great. Keep up the positivity. I want you guys to relish in your gains as far as weight loss gains. Keep it up. You're doing great. Stay positive. Remember to spread love, not hate. I already said that twice. Twice. Two times. You guys, peace. Have a good day.